How's it going, everyone? I'm still the Gamer 555, and welcome back to more Fire Emblem Echoes, Shadows of Atlantia. In the previous episode, we had a long, drawn-out battle at Nui Baba's abode. It was a nightmare, but I succeeded, and it was awesome. We also went and explored inside of Nui Baba's abode, and we found uh, Tatiana, so that was cool. She joined our team. Now we're gonna make our way over to Zeke and Jerome. We're gonna go beat the crap out of Jerome. But we're gonna spare Zeke because we were asked to. So yeah, we're gonna make sure we don't fight Zeke. Sounds good? Sounds good, let's do it. But anyway, we're gonna start making our way over there. So is anything gonna spawn in? No? Okay. Let's go. Well, this should be interesting. This is gonna be the main focus of doing this battle at the Brigel Plains, I assume. Sounds cool. Jerome, sir, my report. The Deliverance forces will reach these planes momentarily. <laughs> so, the peasants made it here after all. Bring me Ezekiel. I'm here, sir. You have need of me? The Zophian rabble will be upon us in due time. Prepare to intercept them. And mind your allegiances wisely. If I smell even a whiff of betrayal, you know what will happen. <laughs> uh, poor guy. He's being forced to do stuff. Alright, so we gotta ignore Zeke. As best as we can. So we're gonna go murder this loser who... Let's face it, Jerome. You look lame. Okay, well the archers are gonna suck. So that's gonna be a problem. But other than that, I don't think it's going to be too bad. Uh, let's see here. Um, that's a foot gray over there. Sure, let's go. Saved me as well. Men, set your sights on the target. We march on Jerome's army. Prepare to attack. You dare? I didn't think you fool enough to betray me, Ezekiel. You know what fate awaits the girl now that she's free. And now so am I. You've ground the people here under heel and threatened my love. Prepare to answer for your crimes. Dude! This guy's awesome! But now I gotta keep him alive, because he's gonna be a little reckless. I'm coming, Ezekiel! Allow me. I'm gonna get my people in there. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. He just instant turned, and so did all his people over there. That's awesome. So I guess getting Tatiana first makes this battle easier. That's awesome. Are they gonna come at me? No. So I can go up there and shoot. Or not. I guess I couldn't. Oh well. This is gonna be probably an extremely short fight then. At least I don't think it's gonna be hard anyway. Oh, so many people to travel here. Leave this to me. Stand back. Just leave it to me. Alright. I gotta make sure Jerome is fine at the most. Great, they got Arcanist. You know what, as long as Zeke is fine, because I gotta get to him, and I gotta keep him alive. I lost his life. Poor guy. So why did these guys all just turn on Jerome so easily? I guess they were under Zeke's command more? Or what? 
Did they just... That's the side that hates Jerome, specifically? Oh my. Okay, well now he's in a range for me to attack him. Why am I watching that whole carnage going on anyway? Oh, oh, oh this guy's getting crits. When a bow knight that's supposed to be against you is on your side, it feels really good. Cool, take out an Arcanist for me. Thank you very much, game. The more th or quicker these Arcanists are out, the better for me, because then I can just have an easier time. Because then like, the resistance issue isn't a problem anymore. I love that he fixes his hair when he finishes a battle there, that's amazing. Ooh. I gotta take out the Bow Knight. Alright, my turn. Now we get to have some fun. But I gotta be careful of him. I really do. Yeah, let's do this. Let's just go after this guy right away. Or, or miss. There we go. We can do at least 36. That is enough to kill him, but what about Jerome? I have to be careful of him. Oh, what am I doing? There we go. We can take out one of the Bow Knights, which is good for me. Oh, she's got Physic. I don't think uh, Silk has that. Yeah, so that could come in handy. Oh, Jerome's gonna hurt, though. Yeah, see, I need a, like, a healer, or not a healer, a mage up there to fight him. That's my best option. Yeah, we can warp Faye up there, I guess. I don't know if that's gonna do enough, but... We could machine gun him, but there's still so much coming at her that it could be a problem to do that. If we screw up, we screw up. I'll fix the problem. At least I hope I'll be able to fix the problem. I guess the only way I could truly fix the problem is as long as they don't all go after her. I think they might go after the allies more, though. I just need Jerome not to go after Faye. Okay. Going after Luthier. That's fine. He shouldn't have to take any more hits, but at least they didn't all just instantly go after Faye. Okay, good. Jerome went after someone who doesn't matter. So good. We can kill Jerome. Okay, yeah, they're gonna be sidetracked with all the, like, the other knights. Meaning I've gotta hurry up and get Zeke out of there. Cause that could be bad. Man, those crits would be so great right now. That's bad. Okay, no, I'm fine now. I didn't really care to see what was all going on there. But I do care to kill Jerome now. So, uh, can that happen? Well, maybe someone else can take him out now. Maybe not. I mean, someone else could. 
Yeah, you know what? Gray could. So let's use gray. Come on. Nice. Such what, rabble? Or something? I don't know. He's dead now. Okay. Now I guess let's take out everything else. Uh, what do I fear the most here? I definitely kind of feel the, uh, the knights. So I think getting rid of them is a good idea. There we go. We can take out this guy. Good job, Cliff. I shouldn't say good job till it's actually done, though, because we know how Cliff is. He misses everything. It's Cliff. I'm gonna use Faye to hurt this guy. Oh, really hurt him. We're doing 90. The machine gun is at it again, like always. Because she's fake. She just murders everything in sight. Not that that's a bad thing. Very well. Okay, I need to do this differently. This guy I'm going to use Alm. Because Alm doesn't really take a big hit from him. Alright, not bad. 39. Now we can kill him. Okay, we gotta figure out how I want to do this now. I'm gonna heal Python. I don't like that he's so low on health. Thank you. And I do really need to heal Luthier. That feels kind of important. Or Fey? Hang on, hang on, hang on. We could do it like this, where I can block it out so Luthier's not getting hurt. And then we can bring uh, Tatiana up here so she can heal Fey. She looks like Palatina, it's so weird. Like the hair. I guess long hair just, or long green hair just implies Paladina. Oops, I just made a mistake. I meant to uh, warp uh, Delphi up there. The mother walks with me. Go up here. There should be enough to kill everything. Yeah, it should be. Yep, that's what I want. This is kind of the end of the chapter then, of the battle. This one was really easy. Maybe we can have a short episode today anyway. I, I don't mind a short one. I've had enough long ones lately. Alright. Well, I'm glad some of them got to live this battle. Okay. Well, that was extremely easy compared to what I had to deal with last time. Granted, if you didn't have the Tantiana, then you'd just get destroyed in this. Like, it'd be really frustrating to do without him. Or with her, I mean. Man, I need a nap after that. Nice. That was easy. You must be on. Let me thank you again for helping Tatiana. We're happy to help, General. I heard you were opposed to this war. Will you lend us your strength? Not a man among us wishes this conflict to last any longer than it must. Hmm. I'm afraid I cannot offer you an answer here and now. There's a village a ways ahead. I'll await you there. Until then. Yeah. Alright. Well, we can go to the village still, too. We could do that. 
All right, the Rogelian village. Let's see what's here. Okay, we got some people we could talk to. Delphia and I descend from a mage disciple of the champion Zofia. This disciple was female, so her gifts pass more readily to female heirs. Magical ability is in the blood. If one is not born with it, well, they will never hear the spirit's voices, no matter how hard they train. I know how precious my gifts are, so I intend to spend my life perfecting them. I understand my calling, even if Delphia does not. Oh, look who's here! Welcome! You don't have to feel uncomfortable. I don't care what land you hail from. You got rid of that rotten Jerome, and that makes you a hero around here. He and Nui Baba from up Fear Mountain have caused us nothing but suffering. And who came to our aid? Not the Emperor, nor the Duma Faithful. The only one who fought for us was General Ezekiel. Doesn't matter who he was or where he's from, he's a good and noble man. Sounds like Ezekiel is quite the guy. You know, folks tell me I'm wasting my natural talents. Well, I never asked to be amazing. I'm not even all that interested in magic or fighting. My brother's the one who's all gung-ho about it. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad that I have a way of helping you all out. But I sure hope that doesn't end up being my purpose in life because... Anyway... Hurry up and bring this war to an end, would you all? I want to do what I feel like without folks giving me guff all the time. That's a lot of work. Also, there's um one thing I never got to see yet, which was a memory prism. I kept forgetting to actually watch it, and I do have one. So, I'm going to watch that as soon as I can, too. What's in this house? We meet oh. again, all. General Ezekiel, have you given any more consideration to what we spoke of before? Now that I have turned my lance on Jerome, Regel will not have me. But neither can I offer that lance to you. I still have no recollection of who I am, or from whence I came. You've lost your memory? I have. All I know is that I washed up on the shores of Regel grievously wounded. I was thrown in prison and accused of being a spy. Or worse. But Emperor Rudolph saved me. He gave me a name and took me in. He raised me as a father would his own son. And yes, I may have betrayed him, but never would I help you do him harm. I didn't know. I'm sorry. Forgive me for asking so much of you. You are not in the wrong. <gasps> Olm! By the gods! What's wrong? Where did you get that mark on your left hand? What, this? I don't know, actually. I've just always had it. Is that so? Some time ago, Emperor Rudolph gave me what I thought was odd advice. He said that if I met a man with a mark on his left hand, I was to follow him. For that man is chosen, he said. He shall save all of Regal, and with it, all of Valentia. That's... very strange. I agree. But now that I have met you, I must heed my Emperor's words. I am yours to command, my lord. No, just kidding, yeah. Alright, we got Zeke. I'm just gonna grab all that. Uh, anything else important around here? You? Okay. okay. We can go to Smithy. Yeah, let's go to the Smithy. We probably got something that can be upgraded here. What's this guy doing? Have you seen a Drago shield before? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, they were. Something about dragons. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Whoopsie. I should have kept clicking properly. Oh, he can make a Drago shield. Can I? No, I don't even have them. Alright. So what can we forge? We can forge the lightning sword. We've had that for such a long time. Forge the royal sword. You know what? We're gonna do that. Nah. Uh, I think... Oh, I can't even do the lightning sword now. Whoopsie. Well, let's do a... Um... A 
involve the iron bow. Sure. Oh, to a steel bow. Okay. Uh, we'll do the same over here. Well, a little better, because Cliff has been using one for a while. We can make that a little better. Uh, okay. We'll put everything at, like, to two. Just to make everything stronger. At least for all of them, anyway. Alright. Not bad. We've upgraded a bunch of stuff. We still get a little bit, so that's good. Uh, let's go house two. We see an old man. What is an old man doing over here? Probably just doing old man things. That's what I would assume he's doing. What's that? Eh, uh, not much. Ezekiel says he has no memory of his past. Tatiana found him washed up ashore one day, badly wounded. She was nursing him back to health when... Well, you've seen his face. It wasn't a fortnight before she was in love. Don't suppose I can blame her. Are you all headed to Regal Castle? I see, I see. Perhaps that's best for His Excellency as well. But the mountain ahead is cursed with a blight of fell beasts. Necro dragons spawn there without end. Or so the travelers say. Even if you've the luck to elude them, eruptions often bury the path in stone. All right. Thanks for the uh, the advice, there, buddy. What's in the square? A scholarly man and a young man. I got no love for Sophia. I suppose I owe you a word of thanks anyway. Huh? Why do I hate Sophia? Because I pour my blood and sweat to work in this here barren land is why. You Zophians have Mila's blessing or bounty or whatever blasted thing it is. You eat your fill without working a day. Life's just one big party for you lot. Makes me sick, it does. <laughs> okay. A film of delicacy called Ambrosia. It's a valuable stuff. Some even go so far as to call it the food of the gods. Some say Sage's Hamlet and Regal is the only place it's made. I've studied the subject for years now, and I could say beyond a doubt, I've discovered the secret recipe for Ambrosia, and it can make it right now. Hmm, how about that? Is your stomach growling yet? There's missing a few ingredients, Duma moss, and an orange. Oh, he said some moss, I didn't even hear it. Can I make it? No. Oh, yogurt. Mm, you're not getting my yogurt. You can't have my yogurt. I don't have yogurt. What's wrong, Alm? You get some bad pottage in the nest tent again? Hmm? Oh, I was just wondering what this mark on my left hand really means. No surprise. What with Zeke's speech about saving Valentia and all. He shall save all of Regal, and with it, all of Valentia! <laughs> no pressure there. No kidding. Wait, you don't actually believe what he said, do you? What? No. No, I don't harbor any delusions of grandeur. But it's true that we're fighting to save Zofia, at the very least. So I got to wondering if that wasn't part of helping all Valentia. Huh. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. In a messed up kind of way. Celica has one of those too, right? That mark? She... Yes, she does. So maybe you guys are destined to save the world together, or whatever. I mean, it has to be fate or something that the two of you met, right? Fate? I don't know about that, Gray. It's a coincidence for sure, but... Kidding! I was kidding! Sheesh, man. You're really starting to worry me here. If you don't laugh it off, it makes me sound like a lunatic for saying it. <laughs> Sorry. You're right. I'm not sure about the rest of it, but me and Celica meeting really could be fate. I'd like to believe it is, at any rate. Okay. 
Now, before we do anything, we're gonna watch that one memory prism before I forget, because I will forget. We gotta watch Memories of the Villa. Conrad? Conrad! Where in the world did he go? Wait, is that... Antis? Antis, is that you? Conrad? I can hear you, but I don't... Where are you? Um... Good morning? Morning? It's past noon! What were you doing under the bed? I was hiding so the ghost wouldn't take me away. Uh, what ghost? Mother told me all about it. She said that if I'm bad, a ghost will come for me in the night. It'll come down from Fear Mountain in Regal and take me away. Oh, you're so lucky. Your mother's Regalian, so she has all sorts of fun stories. Uh, fun? So you're not scared of the ghost? No, why would I be? I haven't done anything bad. Uh, Have you done something bad? Uh, um, well, I kind of accidentally broke the vase in the Great Hall. Then I cleaned up all the pieces and buried them in the garden. That was you? The servants were looking everywhere for that vase. We have to go tell them. B but I'll get in trouble. They'll be fine, Conrad. I'll go with you. We'll apologize and they'll forgive us. I promise. Besides, if you don't, that ghost is sure to come and get you tonight! No! If it took me away, I wouldn't be able to play with you anymore. Right? And I don't want you to go away either. So then, shall we go? All right. Let's hurry and put this all behind us. Uh, wait! I'm kind of scared. Can I hold your hand? Conrad, you... Oh, all right. I love that. Man, I really like these memory prisms. They're so silly sometimes. But they're really nice. Anyway, I think we're going to wrap up the episode there. It's nearing up, like, just at 30 minutes here. So we're going to have to start making our way up here. The next fight we're going to deal with is we got to fight off Magnus up here. So that's going to be interesting because our rating is a little under him. But I'm sure we can still pull it off. And we're almost up there now. We just got to deal with Magnus, Mweller, whatever your name is. And then Rudolph at the end here too. So I might have to go back to Selika's group pretty soon. Maybe one more episode of on stuff and we'll take on this in the next episode. So who knows? Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, definitely sure you support Hit that like button. Thank you if you do so. Subscribe for more Fire Emblem Echoes, Shadows of Valentia, and I'll see you guys next time. Alright, see ya.